is the years-long California drought finally coming to an end. A series of powerful winter storms has been drenching the West Coast in recent weeks. The drought monitor released Thursday morning shows the unrelenting rain has eased drought conditions. More than 40 percent of California has recovered from the punishing drought that covered the whole state one year ago. Meteorologist Jeff Berardelli from our affiliate WPEC has been tracking this. Jeff, can you explain what's been happening with these storms out west? How much snow and rain are they seeing? Yeah, a tremendous amount. And this has been a godsend for the folks in Northern California. Here's what's happening. For the past week and a half, two weeks, we've seen storm after storm after storm slamming the West Coast. We have this fire hose, or the Pineapple Express, as we call it, coming all the way from Hawaii, making its way straight up into California. Now, this is a loop over the past 48 hours. And in just the past 48 hours, the mountains of the Sierra Nevada have seen around four feet of snow. And over the past week and a half, just since January 1st, take a look at that snowpack in the west. Look right there. That is 8 to 14 feet of snow since January 1st. And the snowpack is at 160% of normal. And look at this, the drought monitor. You can see back in July that all of the west coast was under a drought of some sort. Look at this now. Northern California out of the drought, Oregon out of the drought, Washington out of the drought. This has been great news uh, for folks that are worried about the drought and also the ski resorts that need the skiers. And so how much has this improved their water supply? Uh, it's done a great job uh, because we've seen a tremendous amount of water. And I think it's probably going to last quite a while, actually, in, uh, in, in California, because eventually that water is going to melt off and go into the aquifer. So this is really good, and I think it's long-lasting. Well, the U.S. drought report released Thursday shows 42 percent of the state is now free from drought. This compared to last year at the same time, 97 percent of the state was in a drought. Will it last or is this just a short term recovery? I don't think it's a short term recovery. First of all, it's still raining and snowing. The drought monitor was uh, put out on Tuesday, and so it doesn't account for what happened yesterday and today. And actually, I think we're going to see another series of storms towards the middle and end of next week. And it actually looks like the pattern's going to stay stormy for probably at least the next couple to few weeks. I think we're going to set the stage for what is going to be a drought buster for most of California through the spring and probably into early summer as well. So as we saw on your map there, the drought free areas are primarily in the northern part of California. What will it take though, Jeff, to really turn the tide on the drought in the southern parts of the state? So we need the uh, track shift to go a little bit further towards the south. You can see that right now it's raining and snowing in South California as well. I do think that we're going to see some more uh, precipitation move in by the end of next week. And, you know, I think even though the main track has been across Northern California, we're already seeing the drought ease in Southern California. I think even Southern California is going to see a vast improvement as we head through the winter into spring. And do we have a way to tell how much of the drought and this heavy snow and rain might be because of climate change? Well, in terms of the drought, there was an exhaustive study done by Park Williams at Columbia University. He is comfortable with saying 15% of the drought was due to climate change, the rest of it due to natural variability. Now, in terms of this storm, because it's the elephant in the room, is this storm with all the rain and snow uh, due to climate change? And the answer to that is, well, we don't know for sure, but most of it seems like it's natural variability. We would expect to see extreme events every once in a while. Uh, this falls within the extreme, although it is a big extreme. The one thing I will say that is that as you start to uh, add uh, temperature, as you start to warm the temperatures up in the atmosphere, you can hold more water vapor. More water vapor means more extreme events. So it is possible that some of the rain and snow we've seen over the past uh, week or two is in fact due to climate change. All right. Meteorologist Jeff Berardelli. Jeff, thanks.